Well, Lynn, welcome uh, to In Depth. Thank you. And I, I'm not going to steal your thunder, uh, but what does this new name uh, represent? Well, we've been Leadership Evansville for 41 years, and what we were realizing is that the name really didn't describe who and what we are or our mission completely anymore. Um, we have always been open to, to everyone. Um, we have people from every county in our region. Um, we have tremendous diversity and inclusion. So on our boards, in our classes, the nominees from Celebration, recipients, leadership in our board, it's always been very, very inclusive. And in fact, we're so inclusive at our major event, Celebration of Leadership, we open it up to everyone, whether they can afford it or not. And, so, and this is almost, you've grown to the point where you may need a bigger room uh, to oh, celebrate. Oh, yes, absolutely. We, we've gone to the exhibit hall. Um, we had nearly 1,600 people mm -hmm. um, tonight. But what we found is that people would come up and say, well, can we nominate if they're not from Evansville? Can we come into one of our leadership programs if we're not from Evansville? And we're like, of course. And we've always had people from everywhere. So our board was so excited tonight, tonight to announce our new name that will describe us better to be Leadership Everyone. And we picked that for a number of reasons. Um, everyone describes who and what we do. Our, our short mission is diverse servant leaders transforming community. And it's all about everyone being included. That sounds like a big challenge, especially yeah. on a regional basis when you think of about the hundreds of thousands of people in the Evansville uh, region, the tri-state region. How do you basically train a leader? Because I, I've checked <laughs> your background and you, you have been immersing yourself in basically helping people become leaders, but that's easier said than done. Tell me about that. So, uh, so part of it is we believe that everyone leads. If they, if they wake up in the morning, they're leading themselves and the people they influence. Mm -hmm. So what our task is, is to try to get all people to recognize that servant leadership attitude is one of the things we want people to, to embrace and to live and to practice. But also, um, we're hoping that um, people are looking for ways that they can be authentic, they can be themselves, and, and we want people to realize that any time they really want to transform community, if they really want to make a difference, being who they are and the best person that they can be using all their gifts and talents is the way to go. Um, we've kind of gotten rid of the idea that there's a particular couple of characteristics. Um, you have to be charismatic to be a leader. Um, we, we let people know that you can be a quiet leader, you can be um, all different kinds of styles, but what you're doing from the heart is what usually allows the best things to happen. This is not about egos, in other words. It really isn't, but, but it's also not about completely selfless either because right. you need to show up, yes. right? You need to be there. Right. Um, but what we've found in a world that needs shared vision, in a world that needs collaboration, in a world that needs inclusion of all people, that servant leadership attitude, if that is in the forefront, the rest of it can naturally happen. But trying to be collaborative, if you're only thinking about your own organization, doesn't usually work out very right. well. And we were talking about, uh, and we're not getting political here, but uh, there's a lot of polarization in this country and in this world. But leadership, uh, everyone. everyone. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to that. I know. Yeah, but leadership, everyone, that is trying to bring all sides together all and all generations together. Yes, there's we, a lot of kids yes a lot there of kids tonight. are involved older people um and what we what we find is that when we can come together we don't have to agree on everything um but we need to find a way to have civil discourse and to be able to work together mm -hmm. and use each other's talents in order to make the community better um but we're, we're finding that it's, it's not that hard to do. One of the things that, that leadership everyone has had in its corner all along is that we are an autonomous nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So we are literally objective. So we can convene conversation. We're not owned by any one group. Um, we have donors from all over the place and our alumni. So we're able to go into the community and help the community listen, vision, and do transformation because we are autonomous. 
but we seem to have lots of people from lots of different groups. So we're kind of owned by no one, but we have a little piece of everyone. And speaking of numbers now, yes. how many nominations uh, are we talking about? We had 175 nominations that, that, from that five sounds, counties. That, yes. That was heavens, a lot. How did you sort all that? Well, the, the selection committee, thank God, does that. And there's about 14 <laughs> of them, and I am so glad to say I don't vote. And how many people uh, at this uh, exhibit hall? We, we believe there were 1,600 people. 1,600. There. 1,600 people. And wow. all different kinds of people, including a couple of horses. Um, the, um, the officers on the horseback received, and, and they came and got their award, too. So we, we believe in, I said, everyone. <laughs> okay, and will this change? It sounds like you're just naming a strategy that you've been involved with for many, many years. I mean, you've been involved yes. as a participant and as a leader and now CEO of this, uh, of this group that has just grown. I think it really better describes who we are, how we've lived. It's not aspirational. It is futuristic, though, because we want to do more and more work within the region. Um, we're, we're looking at doing some visioning in five counties like we did in our county. So we are definitely reaching out more and more, but we have not had a class in years that didn't have people from all the different counties, including Henderson. Very briefly, if someone who is watching uh, tonight, if they want to get involved, uh, how do they do that with Leadership Everyone? Leadership Everyone. They would go onto our website, leadershipeveryone.org. Um, it's so exciting to say it. And they could call me or Denise or Elizabeth at 812-425-3828. We would love to have people take part in our, our leadership retreats. But if that's not something they can do right away, they can still get involved with Ignite, with Celebration of Leadership, with Voice, all kinds of projects. We include people even before they get involved. Well, exciting times in Evansville and now beyond. Uh, Lynn Miller Peace, thank you so much. Thank Continue you. success to Leadership Everyone, Everyone now. Thank you. <laughs>